In today's tutorial, we are going to learn about orthographic projections of the prism and cylinder, so without any further delay let's start it. Question 1, a triangular base prism, with base side 30 mm, axis 45 mm long, resting on one of its bases on HP, with the vertical face perpendicular to VP, draw its projections, when the nearest vertex of the base is 10 mm in front of the VP. Now, break down the question into checkpoints, and let's understand it with the help of, 3D visualization. Here we have a triangular base prism, I named the upper base as, A, B and C, and to keep it simple, I named the lower base as A- B- and C- instead of PQR. We have the given size of the prism as, base side equals 30 mm, axis length equals 45 mm. Objects conditions, prism is resting, on a triangular base on HP. One of its vertical face, is perpendicular to VP. The nearest vertex of the base, is 10 mm in front of the VP. Now, we have to fulfill all these conditions, to make the correct solution of the question. Always keep in mind, whenever you are drawing the orthographic projections, always start with that view in which, true shape of the object is visible. It could be, the front view, side view, or the top view. In this case, the rectangular faces, are appears reduced in size, in the front view, while the true shape of the triangular base, is visible, in the top view. So, let's start to make the orthographic projection. First of all, mark the ground line and make the top view of the prism in HP, by keeping one of its sides perpendicular to VP, and the nearest vertex of the base is 10 mm in front of the VP. It will be an equilateral triangle, of 30 mm side. Let's find the center point of the triangle, by drawing the medians. Now, project the front view of the prism in VP, by keeping the given height, equal to 45 mm. Also, mark the axis as dash dot dash dot. Name the top triangular base of the prism as, ABC and bottom base as A dash B dash and C dash. You can write it as, A oblique A dash, B oblique B dash, C oblique C dash. It represents those lower points is hiding below the upper points. In the front view, nomenclature will be, B, and, A oblique C, which means C is hiding behind point A. Similarly bottom nomenclature will be B dash, and A dash oblique C dash. Now, mark the line of the picture plane, to make the side view. Transfer all the points from the top view, and front view, to complete the side view of the prism. Now, dark the final output with the thick line, and don't forget to mark dotted line BB dash, inside elevation as, this line is hiding behind the rectangular plane. And complete the orthographic projection with the proper dimensions and nomenclature. Question 2, a cube of side 30 mm, is resting on the HP, with its vertical faces, equally inclined to the VP, draw its projections. Now, break down the question into checkpoints, and let's understand it with the help of 3D visualization. Here we have a cube, I named the upper base as A, B, C and D, and lower base as A dash, B dash, C dash and D dash. We have given size of the cube side equals 30 mm. Objects conditions, cube is resting on the HP. Vertical face is equally inclined to the VP, which means making 45 degrees angle with VP. We have to fulfill all these conditions, to make the correct solution of the question. In this case, the square faces, are appears reduced in size, in the front view, while the true shape of the square base, is visible, in the top view. So, let's start to make the orthographic projection. First of all, mark the ground line, and make the top view of the cube in HP, by keeping its sides, at an angle of 45 degrees to VP. It will be a square, of 30 mm side. Now, project the front view of the cube in VP, by keeping the given height, equal to 30 mm. Now, mark the line of the picture plane, to make the side view, and transfer all the points from the top view and front view to complete the side view of the prism.
In top view, name the upper square base as A, B, C, and D, and lower base as A dash, B dash, C dash, and D dash. You can write it as A oblique A dash, B oblique B dash, C oblique C dash, and D oblique D dash, which represents those lower points is hiding below the upper points. With similar concept, complete the nomenclature of front view and side view. Now, dark the final output with the thick line, and complete the answer with the proper dimensions and nomenclature. Question 3, draw the projections of a cylinder, with a base diameter of 40 mm, axis 45 mm long, resting on one of its bases on HP. Now, break down the question into checkpoints, and let's understand it, with the help of 3D visualization. Here, we have a cylinder of size equals base diameter 40 mm, and axis 45 mm long, and, it is resting on HP. Now, we have to fulfill all these conditions, to make the correct solution to the question. In this case, the curved surface of cylinder appears as rectangle, in the front view, while the true shape of the circular base, is visible, in the top view. So, let's start to make the orthographic projection. First of all, mark the ground line and make the top view of the cylinder in HP. It will be a circle, of 40 mm diameter. Now, divide the circle into 8 parts. These points on circumference is known as the generators. By keeping the given height, equal to 45 mm, project the front view of the cylinder in VP, and also project all the generators in the elevation. The purpose of these generators is, to represent the curved surface, so as to give the feel of, curved surface in 2D drawings, more generator results, better representation. Now, dark the circle in the top view, and dark the outer profile in the front view, and mark the axis as, Dash dot dash dot. There is no need to dark the generators, as these are just imaginary lines. Now, mark the line of the picture plane to make the side view. Transfer all the points from the top view and front view, and complete the side view of the cylinder. Dark the outer profile of the side view, and complete the answer with the proper dimensions and nomenclature. So, this is all about the projection of prism, I hope it will be helpful to you.